hello everyone and today I'm going to show you how to uh, save a waveform in hand tech or oscilloscope I mean using the hand tech software you can actually save the waveform using the software provided by the hand tech so let me open this so you have this little floating dock Click this. All right, so there we go. Right now, I have a LED display on, uh, and the signals are sent to that using a microcontroller MSP430. So let's try and pick that signal up, and we'll try to save that waveform. Switch the channel. So yeah. What we got here is a good old clock signal all right so what we are going to do is we are going to save this and we'll do that using the file save data or you can use this button over here just click it Last which channel to save uh, right now we are in channel one so i'll leave it as such alright so here we have a couple of options if you save it in a text file you will not be able to reload it into the uh, hand tech software let me show you that test one save I'll save the data again uh, yep channel one and this time you got a couple of options excel file word file pretty much the same kind of format which I'll show you in a second CSV uh, you go ahead and try it if you want but RFC is the file that hand tech software understands so let me save it like that in another format uh, is the BMP file uh, it's just pretty much uh, useful when you want to actually capture a waveform and show it to uh, a couple of people are put it in a presentation all right that's so three all right fine right now we got uh, three files in the desktop so as you can see here we got test one test two so let me open test one so you see here uh, you can see you know for every 50 microsecond because that is the time uh, we have set here right 50 microsecond so every 50 microsecond it has collected like 13,048 samples wow that's too much alright if you are asking me how to control the sample length well it's sorry it's 130,048 I don't know I don't know how to control the sample length I have no idea so let me go ahead and uh, open test 2 wow I understood nothing this is the RFC file I guess yes RFC file so let me open this so not to open this uh, RFC file you need to go here load data then you see you can see only the RFC file here there is no other options here so you click test 2 yep got your reference wave here so now we can do a couple of things so this little button here called R is for reference this is the data okay this controls the data so let me change it to 5 volts okay that's too low I guess okay I'll put it 2 volts itself microsecond I got change it to 100 microseconds 20 microsecond okay it expands put it back to 50 the old I don't know why but the voltage seem to have been diminished okay I get it here we have this extend attenuation right 
it's yeah now it matches it's because we have the 10x attenuation uh, so 200 multiplied by 10 is 2 volts so actually if you put 2 volts then it's it has reduced by 10 I mean 10 times the original value hmm, I don't know why they do that alright so there's a little toggle button here you can on and off all right okay so this is the values i mean just now i'm exploring so these are the uh, controls to move your signal you know the things that should be within the frame and stuff like that if you reduce it to one microsecond you will understand okay okay not one microsecond 500 microseconds okay that's too crowdy All right, the send and that end. So that's how it increases. Okay, you can see it's at uh, sample zero. Now it's sample one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so that's how you work with uh, saved waveforms in Handtech uh, six zero two two BL or B pretty much both have the same okay so what do we have here what I don't know guys that's pretty weird let me try to save the picture again let me save data channel 1 VMP file random name I well I don't know what is going on okay 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 it's basically taking a screenshot alright so let's save data again BMP let me move this dialog box alright move it somewhere save it using the same name all right wow awesome so make sure you have nothing over your uh, scope display whatever is, was on the scope display will be uh, captured well you can do it using the external software but uh, this is pretty neat all right so that's it guys that's how you save a uh, waveform in a couple of different formats and thanks for watching and thanks to Safa KH uh, for asking me this question a long time ago yeah do let us know what you think about this video too thanks for watching